In this video, I'll show you how to create a click to magnify interaction. So I got the following message from a Perva. He wrote, uh, hi Paul, in Captivate 2019, how does one convert an image on a slide to a thumbnail that can then be enlarged on by clicking or mousing over. Here's how I would do it in Adobe Captivate. So I've got this project here. I've created two copies of the identical image, a thumbnail version, and then a larger image, which I've just temporarily put in the scrap area here. So the first thing I will do is I'll select both of these images because I actually want them to both be buttons, use as buttons. So I'm going to select use as button in my properties inspector here. So the first one, I'm going to assign an action to it. Now I've labeled these objects. The, the smaller one is called thumbnail and the larger one is called full image. And of course you don't have to use, you know, infographics here. It could be photography. It could be diagrams of equipment at work. It could be anything really. So the action for the thumbnail will be to show, in this case, the full image. We're going to uncheck continue playing the project because of course we want to remain on the slide while the learner looks at this. Uh, my personal preference is to turn on the hand cursor and disable the click sound. Uh, so that's all well and good. And of course, infinite attempts because we want learners to be able to click this as many times as they wish. So I'm going to select the full image now and I'm going to center it on my slide so it appears uh, over top. And if it's not over top of the previous image, you might want to open up your alignment toolbar and make sure that bring selected objects to the front is pressed so that it kind of takes over that area there. Now, in this case here, the default view should be not visible in output. So we're going to click on the eye icon next to the object label so that it's not visible by default. And because we've made this a button as well, what we want to do is hide, in this case here, itself. So we're going to uncheck continue playing project and make sure full image is selected here. And again, I like to use the hand cursor and disable the click sound. So let's do a quick preview and see how this looks. Okay, so we have our thumbnail, we click on it, and we get a nice large version. If we click it again, it returns back to thumbnail size. And this is ideal if you want to create, let's say, multiple thumbnails and have each one display a larger version of it on the same slide. If you thought this video was helpful, please like and share it with your colleagues. If you need help with Adobe Captivate, hire Paul for one-on-one -on -one instruction. Paul's goal is to focus on lessons based on your specific needs. Visit his website at CaptivateTeacher.com. And don't forget to subscribe to his YouTube channel.